as the kids used to say 15 years ago, oh my God, there's so much to talk about with Megan Kelly. Uh, but let us get right now to the lady who was, of course, the host of the Megan Kelly show, Sirius XM. Find it on YouTube, lots of different places. Rockstar, lovely to see you. Thank you for making sure that uh, our entire HD spectrum is looking as spectacular as it does today. Um, all right. Let's go there. Russell Brand. Now, I've held off on this for a couple of days because I wanted to talk to you. Because I think your take on this is absolutely the right one, which is, yes, sometimes there are some very flimsy things that get sent in the direction of people and you can see that there's other motivations behind it. But let's be honest. While this bloke may well be reformed, while this bloke may well have got uh, an interesting take on the way the world works, the reporting of the newspaper the radio interviews and particularly the Channel 4 documentary was about as comprehensive as you can do media reporting. It wasn't a, a bunch of vague stuff. It was detailed and uncomfortable stuff, so much so that I'm not going to repeat some of this stuff on the telly right now. But what's your view about some of the backlash here where people seem to think that if they defend Russell Brand, then if his YouTube channel disappears, they'll be able to uh, get part of his six million followers. What do you think? I am deeply concerned that we have gone from the absurd believe all women on the left to the absurd believe no women on the right. It's an overcorrection and it's wrong. I understand where these mostly conservative men are coming from. They're on their heels, they're jarred, and they're angry about what happened during the Me Too movement, which was a disgusting overreach. It started off as something that I think had some nobility to it and it wound up a politicization of re regular politics where we were taking down men left and right, often without even the whiff of an investigation. It was like, just like one, one person came forward and a guy's entire career was over. So I understand why they're now like, no to all of it. No to any media investigation that brings down a powerful man because I could be next, right? This is sort of the second layer of thinking there. Correct. Um, however, what I think especially people who are more conservative or, or right-leaning need to remember is look around you. All the conservatives I know, I mean truly, it, the vast, vast majority of conservatives I know, the men, are decent, honorable, loving family men who would never behave in a way like Russell Brand is accused of behaving. And not only that, Paul, they would never behave in a way that would even make them a potential target for these kinds of allegations because they would run too far afield. It would be impossible to saddle them with you had sex with a 16 year old when you were 31. You spat in her mouth. You forced yourself on her. You, uh, we could go down the list. It would be too much of an absurdity. So before these decent, honorable, good men who are living great lives, taking care of their families and their wives and being faithful and loyal, and yes, sometimes you fall down on the job, I'm not gonna say they're perfect. Before they rush to defend somebody like this, they need to pause and think about their own honor code and their daughters and their wives and their sisters. Because if you can't do it for yourself, if you, if you could just remove your own skin from the game, think about your daughter. That's who I think about. I don't give a damn whether Russell Brand actually sexually assaulted in, in this instance or that. I mean, I care, but what I'm trying to say is I don't care whether it's true. I'm done. If he had sex with a 16 year old when he was 31, I'm done. I'm not his fan. I am perfectly comfortable condemning that full force. I have a 12 year old daughter. Any man comes near her in four years, who's 31 years old, and we are gonna have a serious problem that goes well beyond his demonetization on YouTube. That's wrong. And anybody with two cents in between their ears knows it's wrong. It went on allegedly for three months. If the whole thing's a lie, we should find out. If he admits to just that alone, it's over and I don't care how many sponsors he loses. Right now, having said all that, I oppose YouTube taking away his ability to make money and trying to sever the relationship between Russell and his fans. That is a denial of due process. That is trial by media. But those of us who are appalled by what we've heard so far and find reason to believe some portion or even all of what's been reported have the right to click away and to have a changed opinion of this man. What I find, you're so right. I mean, what I, what I find so 
just uncomfortable and, and frankly detestable here is the idea that because I agree with this per person on X, Y or Z, I will therefore defend every single thing about their past or the, about their behaviour. The police will investigate the matters to do with assault. But even as you say, to me it comes down to that 16-year-old relationship. It comes down to the allegation of, you know, the BBC cars being used to pick her up from school, which means yes, she was right. turning up in a school uniform, Megan, and like the whole stuff, of, 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 as she talked about, about him uh, allegedly treating her uh, as the baby and stay in the bath all the day and all, all of this stuff. It's just so grubby that at one point in time, you've got to say, look, Thanks for what you said about COVID. I'm interested about how you talk about the uh, you know, military industrial complex, but guess what? I'm not coming to your church anymore. I'm not turning up to your lectures anymore. You know, thanks very much for your service. Enjoy, you, you, I, you're not canceled from life. The only people who get the chance to do that's a court, but I'm not turning up anymore. Thank you for saying that because I have been so disappointed in where, in, in the, the lack of conservatives saying exactly that. Where are my good men? Where are my good fellow conservatives on, on the right or, or right-leaning independents? Anybody who's not a lefty to come out and say, guys, this is wrong. If any of this is true, it's over. It's over between us and Russell Brand, no matter what he says about the military industrial complex. We don't need him. In fact, he's a hindrance. And think about the message that you're sending to young women, young women who might be thinking about leaning conservative or voting Republican. Do you think this is a good recruiting method after all of the years that we've been through where the Republican brand has been so damaged? Do you think they're wanting to sign up with a brand where it's like, hey, as I'm now seeing online, she was 16. What about her culpability? Oh my God, shut up. If that's your position, I, I can't even engage in a good faith argument with you. She was a minor, she was a child. To even equate the two on this scale is an absurdity that shows you, if you're making the argument, probably have some skeleton in your closet that you don't want me to know about. So I want more men like you to say, guys, we don't need every willing soldier on this team, even if he happens to be a massive celebrity and has six million YouTube followers. Because what I'm seeing is too many conservatives who are supposed to eschew celebrity and we're supposed to be, you know, the ones who are like, no, we're not into the celebrity culture, fawn over this guy because every time one of these guys deigns to look their way or say something they like, they're like, oh, he likes me. Oh, he had me on. Or, oh, he's on my side. Would you grow up? We don't care about Russell Brand. We care about message. We care about truth. We used to care about honor. Let's not lose that when we need it most. Oh, look, I, I'm so with you. And again, I've held off for days because there is this sort of, again, ridiculous automatic reaction. And I've got to say, to the in Australia, it's very difficult to see the program that is the, the centrepiece of the investigation. Um, you've got a VPN and pretend you live in the UK. I want an Australian broadcaster to show this sooner rather than later. Because if you actually sit through a pretty uncomfortable hour and a half, you will think, if nothing else, I wouldn't invite this guy around to my house, let alone, um, you know, back this guy in. Uh, again, do I want him wiped from the face of the earth? No, that's not how it works. A court makes that decision. But I am not interested in the blind faith and following because it exposes exactly what you talk about, which is, you know, and I, I can't hold back here, a weakness on our side of things that, as you say, you know, there's frankly kind of part of, you know, the movement that is so jealous that it doesn't get awards, so jealous that it doesn't get to the opening of the envelope, um, that it is willing to embrace imperfect figures and then defend them way too long. And I'll give you the tip. If you're one of these people who says nothing to see here, you are hurting yourself in defending him. You are not helping him and denying the allegation. 100%. And how dare he, if he did any of this, yes. use the conservative movement or just the heterodox pushback on whatever, take your pick. It could be the race essentialism, it could be the trans stuff, could be the COVID stuff. I don't know what it is about Russell Brand specifically that he said that they're attracted to, but how dare he use that unorthodox thinking as a shield, right? Because then that just undermines everybody else. It's like, 
wait a minute. I mean, there are some who are now questioning whether he got into this lane and started saying those things because he had some feeling this was going to come back at him at some point and that these would be the only group, uh, the only guys who would stand by him. How insulting, how disgusting. There was a young woman on my program yesterday, very young, like Gen Z, a conservative who uh, was with Turning Point, very, you know, sort of pro-Trump, more conservative organization. And she, you could tell when I first asked her about it, she didn't know where to land it. She was uncertain of the ground she was standing on. And then I said what I said, which is what I just said to you. And she expressed relief. She was, then she admitted she was nervous about whether she could kind of get away with saying what I had just said, because there's such backlash within conservative circles against anything Me Too related. And that she doesn't, she doesn't want to look like a radical feminist by saying, God, there's a lot of evidence. You know, there's a, this woman, unlike Christine Blasey Ford, the Justice Kavanaugh accuser, she went to a rape crisis center. She went there for therapy for five months about Russell Brand. She has contemporaneous text messages where she says, you scared the blank out of me. You're terrifying when you get the glaze over your eyes. Do I need to go get myself tested? And he's begging her forgiveness. She was afraid to raise those points as a young female conservative because she didn't see people within the conservative movement allowing room for that discussion. You need strong voices, ideally strong male voices, saying what you're saying and what I'm saying. Well, it's this thing, you know, we talk all the time about the kids in lots of different areas. If we are the lions and lionesses of this movement, it means we take care of the cubs. And this bloke did not take care of the cubs. He well and truly abused um, that position. Good on you, Megan, and good on you for, for being so clear on it. I'm with you a thousand percent. God love you.